Hello, let's do a bunch of daily word games, and today's bonus game is the Fibble. So I'm going to start with lying. Interesting. So Y usually goes to the end, so it's probably I something Y, but what would that be? It's not unity or unify, because um, there's no N. I feel like it's got to be something like that, but... Hmm... Let's just get a bunch of letters and see if that helps. Uh, how about stare? There's an E. That's surprising, actually. Um, oh, deify. That's a fun word. Yeah. Um, all right, an A and an S. Could really be anything. Um, but what, actually? <laughs> I'm thinking A-U-S. That, that's my initial thought, but there's no E to put at the end. I could do double S, but I can't think what that would be. So maybe not. Maybe it's like something OAS? No, uh, something SOA? Uh, why is this so hard to find something? What if it was like S A here? S A C S A W S A P Interesting. I'm not sure. Or it could just be A S like this. Or something like basil or I don't know, but there's no L. I'm I'm struggling to find what this would end with. <laughs> I can't think of any words at all that actually use the A and S. Uh I don't I don't know. Ash something? As, asp. B A S. How about like A S O M or A S U M? This entire video will just be 45 minutes of me trying to figure out how to use this. I might just do a filler, which is unfortunate, but if I do a filler, I probably want to find out where this A goes. I don't know what kind of filler I'd want to do, because I don't have any options. Maybe find out if there's an O or U in the word. It's either that or place the A. And then, I don't know, I could, I could just do pouch. It gets tests the OU, it tests some of the letters I've been thinking about. Okay, so there's only A's in the word for vowels, and there's a C. That lends credence to this, this ASC thing I was thinking about, but the, then we have to still use the A again. Um, how about C A S? Did this not help? I mean, I'm sure it helped, but like, I thought I should have tried chasm, but it's too late now. There's no H. Um, I was actually thinking about AS. Oh no, chasm puts A in the middle. That's the issue with ASM. Right. So I'm wondering if we're something along the lines of AA -A -A like this. Sorry. Hazards of having a beard is sometimes it gets in your mouth. Let's see. Um, or it could like end in A like this. You'd have to include the S in there. It's, it's a little awkward. Cassic, Cassim. 
I might, I might, I don't know. I don't think chasm's a good guess, but I might guess something to try to put the C somewhere. Love to know where this A goes. I mean, I have lots of guesses. It's just, it feels like I should be able to get this answer. Jeez, I, I got nothing. Um, you can't end in CK. I mean, maybe it's like A, C, K, S. Could it be? I mean, I could guess something like Jax. I guess it'll help. Whoa, a plural. A plural? I mean, I guess it's it's the name of a game, right? Jax, is that is that what it's referencing? Huh. Surprising. Okay, well that's why I couldn't figure it out. I was avoiding plurals, but I don't know, maybe Jax can be construed as not a plural. I don't know. Let me know what you think there. All right, Jax deify. Let's see. How about scene? The top right. Not, okay. Ooh, but the bottom right where it has the E's in both of those spots, which is kind of nutty. Um, something S, something C, E? Ooh, I don't like that. And maybe maybe it's like C something something S E. There's no A or I do cause. It could be like oh no again. Oh chose maybe? Like past tense of choose. Let's give that a try. Ooh, it is chose. Interesting. Ooh, and we got an H on the bottom right. Oh, I wanna do snowy for the bottom left, but there's no Y. Um Feels like that's what's going to be S and O though. This could be theme on the bottom right. I'm not sure what else there. There or theme. Um, so maybe I can do an SMA word for the top left, which will test theme versus there. Uh, I could do smart. I could see R and the T as well. All right, it is there. And then snort. Okay, that was very helpful. And then S. Uh, and then ends in AT. The A is actually forced third, or fourth, I mean. Um, squat, maybe? Nice. Not too bad. Oh, there's a new weekly challenge? Okay, I guess we'll do it when it comes up. Um, Let's start with snort. I guess these words are just supposed to be harder. Um, let's do crawl for the top right. Okay. Um, bottom right's interesting, but I don't know where we would put those letters. Maybe it's an ER word. Could it be like a O N E R, um, like donor or something? Let's give that a try. Oh, it is an O N E R. Uh, goner. Let's not just trap ourselves in that right now, though. <laughs> Maybe we'll incidentally get the letter it's supposed to be. Um, there's two R's on the top right, which is interesting. Um, Maybe something like fryer. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have to we have to start getting these words right. How about the top left? R O, and then there's like a D. I mean, it could be something like brood. I think I should do a good filler though. Um, what could the top right be? So it's not fryer. So I don't think prior is a word. Briar is a word. Um, actually, I think it's only Briar. I'm about to be proven wrong and lose my filler. Um, 
So let's not do that. Let's include a B though. And then I guess the bottom right could technically be boner. Uh, goner. Um, I don't think poner is a word. Um, it's not double R. Noner is not a word. Uner. I'm just testing the doubled up letters. There we go. None of those. Zoner maybe? Okay. Zoner is a possibility. Voner? No. It accepts boner. Moner. Moner it accepts? So B, G, M, Z. I don't know about moner and zoner, though you never know with like the weekly. Maybe they intentionally use weird words. Um, but if I could use BGM, that'll make me pretty happy. That seems hard. Uh, I don't see how to do BGM. Someone in the comments always has something, but unfortunately I can't read your comment until after I post the video. Magab. I mean, it's probably Briar and Goner. Like, it's probably those two. Is it even worth... Let me think about these other words for a second. How about bottom left word? It's N something E-T. Um, what goes before that N? Un, maybe? It could be like unmet. Unbet, no. Unpet, no. Unget, okay. So unmet and unget makes me want to do BGM again. Un, it's not unbet, but un. I really think I should do a BGM word because it'll help that too. How about the top left word? I mean, it helps with brood as well in case it's brood. Uh, it could be proud. Proud is interesting. Um, okay, so there's two options for that. So again, BGM will help me with that. So I, I really just need to think of a word that uses BG and M in it. Um, bag them. Bag them. Bag me. Um, begma. Beg them. Magba. Maybe just B and M then. I could maybe use a P. Does B and P make sense? Blimp. We can do blimp. I think that should fine. That should fine. I I I English well. Okay, so we have Briar. Let's lock that in. Actually, that's not because we know it's Briar. So we'll lock that in later. Um, we know it is proud. Nice. We know it's unmet. Nice. Okay, so the bottom right word, it's not boner, it's not moaner, so it's goner. Yes, and then we get briar. Hey, I did it. Yeah, I guess I made this one tough by just making it a bunch of traps. Um, that's kind of neat. Cool. Um, yeah, I think I did well on that. I think blimp was a good filler there. I think there, the, technically it could have been zoner. Um, and I think there was another weird one, but I, I just didn't think it was going to be that, so I didn't try. Um, cool. Let's do connections. We're, let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Uh, quart, like measurement. Inch is a measurement. Falafel is not a measurement. Falafel and schnitzel seem like they might go together. So I think katsu, schnitzel, falafel, and... Wait, I thought it was tempura, not tempera. But are these fried foods? Samosa, maybe. No, samosa is a, a drink, isn't it? I got confused. 
But we got court inch and yard and foot also, which are imperial measurements. Let's try these. Let's see if these are go together. No, one away. Darn. Okay, well, let's do court, yard, inch, and foot as imperial measurements. Oh, that's also one away? Mile. Oh, oh no. Darn. So which one, which one doesn't belong? <laughs> which one goes with something else? So between court, inch, yard, and foot, one of these goes with a different category. And miles included instead. Acrylic and oil are types of paint. So is watercolor. And pen, so like, Mediums for mediums for art. No, oh no! Wow. Maybe tempera is. I don't know. Maybe I'm confused about what tempera is. Schnitzel, falafel, katsu, and what? Samosa. I had this feeling that samosa was a fried food. But we're we have to get something right. Like we're just gonna fail on <laughs> we're just gonna fail with nothing locked in. All right, let's go for this. Yes. Okay. Deep fried food. All right. So I was right about samosa, and then I second guessed myself and thought it was a drink. What What's the drink I'm thinking of? If not samosa, I don't. Know, maybe Maybe I'm just confused. It's quite possible I'm just confused. But anyway, so watercolor. And oil and acrylic and pen was one off. So maybe instead of pen, we would do tempera. I don't know. Tempera just, I don't know what that is, but I could believe it's an art form. Um, but I guess we can't lock that in yet. So yard, mile, foot, and inch are all distance measurements. Court doesn't fit with that. So that, that's my reasoning here for locking these in as imperial distance measurements. Yes, units of length, there we go. Okay, so now we just have to figure out how these get split up. What is dim for? Nick? oil. So I tried watercolor, pen, oil, and acrylic. Of court, nick, dim, and tempera, which of those would be painting? I gotta think it's tempera. I don't know. I might lose on this, but I think this is it. Yes, types of paint. Okay, I've not heard of tempera. Court, nick, dim, pen. I honestly don't know what this is referring to. Start of U.S. coins? Oh, the dime, the nickel, the penny, and the quarter? Okay. Yeah, that's tough. But we got it. All right, fibble. So if you haven't seen Fibble before, um, each guess we make gives us Wordle-like clues, but one of them is a lie. Um, and I like to play where I guess words that could still be the answer. I think that's just more fun. Um, well, more fun for me. So we could just assume the H is lying and do all new letters, or we could assume the H is correct, or we could assume the H is lying and is actually supposed to be green, or we could assume the H yellow is correct and we have, say, an E in the word. Um, I think I like to do that to try to catch out lies uh, more easily. Um, so we could do we could do something like ending, you know, we could put an H somewhere and end an E is kind of my thought. Or just put an E anywhere. Um, but we don't want to use another of TYM. So 
And we don't want to put h second. So how do we want to do this? Maybe putting e in place is the best option. Um, you'd think I'd be able to think of something. Let's put h first. Could it be h e? I mean, we could do hello. Repeated letters aren't terrible in Fibble because sometimes you can catch out the lie really easily because the coloring's impossible, like gray and yellow. Um, then you know the lie is within the L's somewhere. But is there any way to get... How about Heron instead? Let's do Heron. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's a lie between these two. And there's a lie between these two. So that's an X-wing. So what, what do I mean by that? I mean, um, one of these H's is, so I, I guess the best way to put it is, in two guesses, there are exactly two lies. Exactly two lies. One of those lies is either this H or this H. And one of the lies is either this E or this E, because they contradict each other. That's both of the lies, which means these have to be true, and these have to be true, which is really, really nice. Um, and then we don't know whether, say, this is the lie, and we actually have a yellow H and a yellow E, or whether this is the lie, and we actually have a gray E and a gray H. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's probably this, because otherwise we would need to just scramble these letters and get a, get a word, H-E-R-O-N. Um, I don't think that works. So I think, I think that we just don't have an H or E in the word. Uh, but we do have R-O and we end in N, which is very good to know. So we just need to do a word that matches that. It doesn't use any of the letters we've guessed otherwise. Um, something like groan would work. So let's give that a try. Okay, so what did we learn here? We know that's true. We know th these could be the lie if they're supposed to be in place. Um, but if they were, that means we do start with G. So we probably have to do something like G something O-R-N, which doesn't make sense, or G-R something O-N, which also doesn't make sense. So I'm thinking the G is just the lie and the rest of this is truthful. So we need to come up with a different way to um, I mean, it could be like O something R N. What would that be? Or R O something something N would be possible. Is rosin a word? Ro I think rosin's a word. Let's give that a try. Okay, so we know the N is correct. I think I think we might just be let's see what would be the lie if the s was the lie that means we have an s we'd have to do sorin which I don't think is a word so the s is telling the truth um it could be that the i is lying and we're just o r n like this which I thought might be possible but I couldn't think of something or the i is not lying or is lying and is yellow okay so I don't know um It could be R O something something N without using the I as well. I'm running out of vowels though. I could repeat the O or I could use the U. Like O N or U N. But I don't like those. So I think probably the R is telling the truth at this point. Maybe the I is lying. And we actually place the O, so O, and then the R goes somewhere. I would have to go here. If if the R, if this R is telling the truth, the R is forced right before the N. <clears throat> what would this be? We could use an I if we need to. It would just wouldn't be here. It would be here or here. So what would I what would O I R N look like? Doesn't look very good to me. Um, I U R N. Is born like this a word? 
Apparently it is. Ooh, we got some interesting results here. So we've now seen a yellow R in every spot, which means that <laughs> one of them's a lie. Maybe this is the lie, and then we just don't have a B or U. I mean, this is in line with what I was thinking. It can't be double O here, though. We could still do the I. So O I something N. Ugh. O I R N, I mean. I don't know. I feel like I made a, an incorrect assumption at some point. So let's clear out everything and let's see what we can figure out from scratch. It'd be nice to have a clear all button, but there we go. Although I'm pretty sure, pretty sure with these, I do have the X wing. So we know these are correct. We know these are correct. Um, I think we kind of proven we don't have this H and E. Um, I think that's safe to assume we don't have the H and E because otherwise, otherwise we would need an anagram of Heron that ends with N. Rohan or something, or yeah, I don't think it works. So here we know these ends are correct all the way down because but this was correct. We know we have an R and O, but we don't know if they're lying. Okay. Um. If this O is lying, then these would both be lying, and the rest would have to be correct. One of these three R's is lying. We know that, because the R has to go somewhere. <laughs> so maybe that's helpful to think about, that one of these R's is lying. So for example, if we decided this O was lying both times, then this R would also have to be lying. We'd have this, they would have the same lie all the way down, which is possible. But what that would mean is we'd start with G, we'd have an R second, and then, and then we would have no for O. Because we know this O is true, and then this O would also have to be true, and we couldn't put O anywhere. So that's not possible. So actually, we've proven that these O's are correct. It doesn't necessarily mean that I can mark this O correct, because it could be lying and be green. Um, but if these O's are correct, then this R is definitely lying. Okay, so these are correct as well. Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Other way around. This R is definitely not lying. <laughs> I don't know why I said the opposite. I thought about it and then said the opposite of what I thought, um, which happens sometimes. All right. This is taking a while, but it's interesting. So we know this R is correct. So one of these two R's is lying, which is an interesting situation. Um, I really don't see how this G can be correct. We'd have G O, and then we'd have to put the R here, G O something R N. And I just don't think that's a word. So the G is lying, and there's just there's probably no G. Um, so the O is placed. There's probably not another one. One of these R's lies. If this R was lying, then this I would be lying. So that's one option: is both of these lie? I think that's what I expect before, or this R is lying, this R is telling the truth, this I would be correct. So it would be R O something I N. That seems reasonable, actually. It, would, it could be Robin with this B line. There we go. It was Robin. Okay. Wow, that took a while, but I got it. Yeah, I think I made an incorrect assumption at some point, which precluded Robin, and didn't help that Born lied with the B, the yellow B turning it gray. Oof. Okay, cool. Well, that was fun. 
let's do the polygonal. That's right, we did do a expert yesterday. Okay, so let's look at what ing does here. It makes it start with n, and then this letter has to repeat. Which seems viable, but I'm not sure like an L or a T or a P. It's hard. It's hard. Um, an S. Or we could even do like an A or, or an E. I don't know. This is tough. I feel like after N, you got to put a vowel though. Yeah, this is tough. Let's just put vowels in here. I mean, an A. And this is the same letter. It's like nepaping, netating, nelaling, ne nemaming. Ne yeah, I don't see it. So maybe not ing today. Let's try like, ooh, maybe not er. We do like ers or something or. What would this be? Can we do something like Rainiers? Hmm. We're not found. Feels like Rainiers ought to be a word, but maybe not. <laughs> um, you know, I haven't thought about IMGS. Grillings or grittings or grippings. Grittings. One of these ought to be it. Uh, gribbings. Grivings. Gri Oops. Gricings. Um, about glidings. Okay, found one. <laughs> uh, it's not, not too bad of a result. Uh, we know the I doesn't repeat and we know the G doesn't exist. Okay, so let's see. So there's an I and it doesn't repeat. Okay, I kind of want... What do I want to do? I'm thinking about the L or the N repeating or both. So like an L here and an N here. Then we'd have like a D somewhere. Ooh, the D doesn't really fit anywhere if I do that, so maybe not. Probably a different vowel here, like an A or an E. And then like ending in I N or I D maybe. And we could start with D. And there's an L somewhere. Well, if we start, no, sorry. If there's an I there, no, the I can't go there. Sorry. So that's the repeat spot. I mean, no, I doesn't repeat. Um. I really want this to be diamond. <laughs> Um, oh, the end doesn't go there. This yellow right above it. What am I thinking? Ah, uh, I don't like this. Um, how about N repeating here? And then we end with ND. I think that's reasonable. And then this is the repeated L. Okay, let's start from this. And then we could we could do nil or we could do lind. Oof, this doesn't look good at all, does it? Land? Nil? Nil? <laughs> Oh boy, this didn't work at all. Uh, LD? I don't know. So we need two more letters. There's a lot of options. What's like a, a good way to approach this? Let's just do, let's do alphabetically. So let's put a D in this repeat spot. We're gonna assume one of these four is this repeat. So if we have the D in this repeat spot, we could have the N or the L in this repeat spot, um, or we don't have to have any of them, but what do we like? What do we like? Uh, the I needs to go somewhere and it's not here. So I like DI maybe. 
and then maybe a vowel here, like dia. And then we need the N and the L. Dianold. Dialand. And then I don't know what it would end with. Yikes. So maybe not. Oh, I can't even put the N there. Right, so probably the L would go here. I don't know where the I would go. We do I L like this. The N has nowhere to go. All right, maybe we don't start with D then. Maybe we start with L. We can end with L D. D's got to go somewhere. And then maybe like I N Lin. Almost has to be, unless it, unless the N goes here. Lionel. Ah. I think I might have to do a filler. I think it's time. I was thinking about robustly. It only wastes the S, and it tests the L in that repeat spot. Let's see what this gets us. Okay, so there's a T. The L is not that repeat spot. Okay, now I'm thinking about ending in INT. And then we need an L somewhere. I don't know. And a D somewhere? No. What the heck? All right, it's time for machined. Uh, machine doesn't test the N in a good spot. How about diamonds? Nope. I start with dill or something or nil. Is that how you spell nihilism? No, nihilism is spelled in this weird way that I never can remember how to spell. Nihilism or something. Not nihil. <laughs> I don't know. Um, nihilism maybe. There it is. Okay. I found the I. It's there. What did we learn from nihilism? Probably not as much as we were hoping. The L's not in this repeat spot, and it's not in this repeat spot. So the L's on its own. Okay, so this is not N, it's not I. We don't know if it's D or not. It's not L. So this is N or T. Let's look at, I'm sorry, not N or T. This is D or T. Let's look at T here. We know the L doesn't repeat. So the L is, can't. I don't think we can put the L after the T. So we're gonna put the L here. So it's kinda, yeah, either way it would go after a T otherwise. We found where the I goes. Um, we need the N somewhere. Could it be the repeated spot? I think it would have to be. And this is starting to shape up to be not a word because we need to put a D somewhere as well. Uh, what? This is the only, so if we have T's there, this is the only place L goes. Can't go here. Can't go here because we we know it's not in this spot. Can't go here, again, because of this guy. Can't go in either of these. It could go here, and it can't go here because we're not ending in TL. So if, if the T's go there, this is the L. Now we have to find somewhere for the D and the N. We're not doing TN, so it's not here and it's not here. So this is clearly the N. But we're not doing TD either. So yeah, we're not we're not starting with T. What if we start with D? I feel like we're gonna have a similar issue. <laughs> um, this is an I. So now we have to put the L somewhere. The L's not here, here, here. 
So we're, again, we're, we're putting the L there. And then we have to put the T somewhere. Doesn't look good there. It doesn't look good after a D. Okay, so we don't start with D or T. So we start with like probably a vowel. So let's put an A there just for now. Now the T could be this repeated letter. Um, the L, okay, so the L can't go here or here or here. So I'm thinking we maybe end in L, A, L. And then maybe we end, and then this isn't a T. So the T would be the repeated letter, or it could be A T. D A L. And then the N is the repeat. Ugh. Antitidal. <laughs> what the heck? Could also be E. Okay, it could be L A D or L A T. I don't like that either. <laughs> what the heck? Where can L go? Not here. So let's just put X's where L can't go. It's not here, it's not here, it's not here, it's not here. Yeah, so L is in one of these two spots. This is always an I. I feel like maybe ending in L is the way to go because I think we need a vowel here. So let's try A again. Okay, so now where can T go? T can't go here. T could go here or here. That's it. D could go here. But in that case, we probably need T here. But then we also have an N. Oof. Okay. So what about N then? Well, this isn't N or T. And the A is the, uh, the only new letter we get, right? Because we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So if we're introducing the A, that's the only new letter we get. So if this is not N or T, it must be D. And then, then we just need to find where the N and T go. So it's either antitidal or atnindal. So it's neither of those. I could try with E as well. Okay, so those were the only options for that. So I'm thinking that instead we end in ED, and this is an L. Um, this is an I. Oh, entitled. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was an ED word. Wow, that was tough. 10 ordinary words. So I found glidings, which is probably not an ordinary word. It's not. Wow. Entitled or entitles. Surprise. Isotopic. Clemency. Emanates. Bathtubs is funny. Edifices. OK. Wow, that, these games are taking me a long time today. <laughs> Let's do the mini. Should have expert on, we do. Uh, okay. Um, I want just common letters. Um, how about leech? Not double E, but there is an E. Interesting. So can I do double O E? Something like soot or I don't know. So maybe it's something like an E and then a double letter, a double consonant. Oh, it could be an ER word, actually. It could be otter. All right, this is an E. Offer would have been possible, too. Um, EN or ED. Um, so maybe an A here? Let's not fill that letter. 
asset would have been great, um, but there's no T. I don't know of another word, another letter that could go after that. So. Oh, upper would have been great as well. Maybe upped is a word? It is. Oh, okay, so it doesn't start with U. Let's try A again. Um, so it doesn't end in ED. Aged would be an interesting. I don't even know if that's how you spell that, but. Why is this so hard? Maybe an EY word. Abby. There we go. Didn't think about why. I probably have the highest streak of anyone who plays the mini, considering there are only 119 minis and I've got a 232 streak. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do the symbol. Let's start with Blaze. A in the middle. So we will try stack. A is in the middle, but we don't have any of these other letters. Um, I'm thinking RA. But I can't, like GRA, uh, DRA. Well, how about Drain? I like that. Okay, so it's A and then R, D, or N. Maybe R? Hmm. I'm running out of letters here. <laughs> Arm, maybe? I, I'm thinking about NG as well, but I don't know how that would work. DY maybe? Can't do shady. That would be nice though. Um, I don't know. ARP? Again, sharp would be nice. ARY? Simple's been a struggle the past couple of days. I usually don't struggle like this. Um, I could do another A, if that helps. Anywhere, really. I really want to do guard, but there's no, if there's an R there, there's no D. Um, D can't go here unless it's double D, and certainly not double D. So, oh, how about wharf? Nice. So I'm gonna get Michael to do the symbol today. Um, okay, cool. Let's do fusel. Oh, uh, we have to start with a repeated letter, so we can't do wharf. Um, how about start then? Because we have to start with something. There's an R. So let's test ER. Um, I know there's a lot of ER words. I'm just trying to think like, like if I do something like Piper, it like at least increases the chances of finding a P if there is one. So let's do that. All right, well, I didn't find the R and it's not ER. Um, okay, now we're going to get a lie. I put prime. Still haven't found the R. And there's, well, actually, I don't know, because there could be a lie. Okay, if the R isn't second, then that means there is one of these other letters. So if I guess something like, 
uh, what would be possible here? Okay, let's just assume there's an R second for now. And we'll find out where the R goes from the symbol clues anyway. And then we'll just do all new letters. So something like, I don't know. I was going to say droop, but there's no P. Actually, there can be a P at the end. Okay, so let's just assume we somehow missed the P when we guessed Piper. All right, so the R was the lie, and it just goes R-O like that. Interesting result. Um, how about frown? Okay, so it's a round trap word. So what, what are the options? Crown, brown. Is that it? Crown and brown? Grown. Let's not miss something. Well, I think CGP, CBG. Oh, oh no, I can't do a filler. Oh, okay, so I should guess crown because the B is near the C. Hold on, is the G far? Let's do ABC here. Maybe I should do brown. I don't want the G to be close enough. Okay, the G is not close enough to either of them. But let's do brown because that'll tell me. Okay, so now it can't be crown, see? Because of the... I pointed, as if you could see that. It can't be crown because it would be too close to the B. So we're going to do crown. Nice. That was that was a little lucky that I was able to do fillers with the, with the e, uh, alphabetical clues, but... It worked out. Very nice. All right, let's do the blind fusel. Um, I guess we'll start with grown. Nothing from the alphabetical clues. Um, let's just do a really good guess here. Unfortunately, a lot of the good letters are redded, but we can do T and R. Uh, we just don't want to put R in the same spot. Um, I can't do an ER word. But I could do something like Briar. No, that puts R second anyway. Um, what do I want to do? How about CL? CLI, CLA. Can't do clamp. You know, I could do black. Let's do black. Oh, there's an L second. Okay, so what do we want to do here? I wanted to do flesh, but this this first letter can't be an F. It's too close to the G. Um, I could do SL. I could do like sleep, maybe. No, this can't be P. Uh, sleet. Okay, SL was correct. We're, get, we're slowly getting there. We have to repeat a letter. So maybe we'll do a, a plural, because there are plurals in this game. Um, they're rare, but they are there. Um, slugs. Oh, wow. So it's SL. Oh, it's slung. Nice. Eh, I, I think that was a decent solve. All right, cool. Well, um, hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.